welcome to the channel everyone in this video i'm going to show you how to dissolve your essential oil essential oil is a part of uh, all natural you know skincare product creation routine when i'm making products i work a lot with essential oil because i i rarely use synthetic fragrance i only use all natural organic essential oil and if you uh, check any of my products especially on uh pure blend skincare.com you see that we don't use uh, synthetic uh, fragrance we use all natural essential oil, organic usda certified now i get a lot of question asked by folks in the industry to show them how to dissolve the essential oil to dissolve an essential oil you will do well by using an isopropyl alcohol it also depends on what you are working with but to, dis to dissolve your essential oil all you have to do is just Take your essential oil, take the amount you want to use. Okay, take the amount you want to use. Right? Do not add water to it yet. Don't add water to it, you just want to dissolve it. So, then you take isopropyl alcohol. I'm using 70% here. So, just take isopropyl alcohol. I should show you using an essential oil that is that has a different color I think it will make sense to show you using an essential oil so you see how it dissolves in uh, alcohol okay um, I'm going to I'm going to try another one so let's just do this a little bit a little bit of isopropyl alcohol is all you need perhaps uh, twice as much as your essential oil that's all you need so if you are, if you are, the maximum we can use for the essential oil in uh, making skincare products is one percent, right? So if we take two percent of uh, isopropyl alcohol, it's going to produce a clear product for you, and that's it. Now you don't believe me enough? Let's get an essential oil that is that has color, different color, and try this experiment. So that going forward you can see how clear it is. Give me one moment, let me get an essential oil that has a different color and see how uh, isopropyl alcohol dissolves it. Sorry about the temporary break. So now I have chamomile German blue essential oil. So let's see how well it dissolves in isopropyl alcohol. As you can see here, the essential oil is now separated from and you could ask me why this happened. So when you're making your skincare powder, you have to watch this. This happened because this was diluted in jojoba oil. Now give me a moment, don't close the screen yet. Let me get an, uh, another essential oil that is not dissolved in anything but that's not white. I'll be right back.
thanks for waiting everybody so let's get let's get to work in this video i'm going to be using mandarin sicily essential oil it's yellow in color it's not diluted in anything so let's just take a bit okay and see how it dissolves in isopropyl alcohol you know the original color is yellow right so let's let's put in our isopropyl alcohol, alcohol to see how that dissolves it and the, the the proper the test of the proper dissolution is not the disappearance of the color it's not going to make it white but it's just going to make it mix more as you can see mix more okay so that the oil is not floating so in my in several years of experience making great skincare product i discovered the isopropyl alcohol is the best way to solubilize an essential oil it will dissolve it it will not make it float as you can see now let's say you want to add water to this now right you want to add water to this let's go ahead and add water and see what we get right as i said before the oil will not a oil that is properly solubilized will not be floating as you can see there's no oil that is floating here it's all properly uniform even though it won't it may not be do a good job as polysorbate 20 it's still something right so if you want to make a room spray or, st or stuff like that make sure you first solubilize your essential oil with isopropyl alcohol especially if you are making an antibacterial room spray or something make sure you mix it first right and another experiment I've done is this as you see it as you mix it it will seem as if they separate but it takes a lot of mixing together you have to put it in a bottle and shake it very well together and leave it because at a point just like you're saying uh, the oil and the water will start separating but it takes a, a lot of mixture like if you have a hand mixer now if you mix it together forget it that's all you're going to get a very crystal clear uh, it will not separate it's going to stay the same and that's what the uh, industry used to, to mix this together they will mix it they're going to use an homogenizer to homogenize both particles to make sure they mix well together and that's it then you can start using it as a pre spray as a fragrance and co and so on and so forth how this video give you an idea of how to solubilize an essential oil the best way to solubilize your essential oil before using it is either you use uh, isopropyl alcohol if you are doing an antibacterial spray or something like that but you can also use polysorbate 20 but remember polysorbate 20 is going to give your mixture a very milky you know final product you don't want to this is uh, how I solubilize oil with a polysorbate 20 it's going to give you a milky final product you don't want that so thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click the notification icon to be notified when i upload new videos i upload videos every week to teach and train upcoming skincare uh, beauty brand owner and the one and uh, those that are already established you know to see way to improve uh, their final product thank you for watching